Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Realm of Thrones 3.8.1, I believe. So the first few things we do want to do, and a few tips and tricks if you're running into crashes, which I have been trying to solve myself. So first, it is not on Steam Workshop, that is coming soon, potentially. But first you want to go to Nexus Mods, go down to Files, and it is for 3.8.2 and Bannerlord 1.0. 0.1 oh, and 1.0.2 oh, and it does require harmony as per other ins installations did not require it what you want to do is click on manual download while you do that open up harmony here and download the latest file of harmony here uh, for those who are playing with other mods it is also easier to open up your steam and go to workshop and search for Harmony here, or you can click on Most Subscribed and click on Harmony and Subscribe, and it will automatically download for all your other mods. So while that is downloading, what I personally recommend is playing on version 1.0.2, the beta here, and selecting this. I've had issues with 1.0.1. You want to do, but it may not work for you. So you can download. Uh, this or click on none let that run and download next what you want to do is click on this again go to properties local files and verify integrity of game files another problem that people run into is having custom mod loaders like bert loader or butter loader uh, please delete those or reinstall your client to make sure it is the native mod launcher while this is downloading it's going to be a massive download file 8.4 gigabytes you're going to end up with this file called Realm of Thrones 3.8.2. What you're going to want to do is right click on it. And there's going to be an option called Unblock. Click on Unblock, click Apply, and click OK. I have Unzip installed on my computer rather than Winrar. This is a zip file. It shouldn't matter which one you use, but 7-zip is better. What you want to do is here and click on 7-zip and click on Extract 2. Once you're done extracting, it may take, on, makes it take some time depending on your system. You're gonna end up with this folder right here, Realm of Thrones 3.8.2. Inside here, you're gonna have ROT 3.8.2. And in those folders, you're gonna have three files. So with those three files, what you wanna do is go back to your banner alert on Steam, go to local files, click on browse. What we're gonna do is click on modules and copy these or drag these into your modules folder. And it should look like this. At the end of the day. Now what we're going to do is you have your mods installed. Make sure you have your harmony enabled. You have your natives. And you have this in this specific order. ROT content. The realm. And ROT races underneath the natives. Make sure nothing else is selected. As per your other mods. Launch the game first. See if it runs. Then add your other mods later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to click play. As you can see, I do have it installed. So we're going to drag this over to this other side here to prove that it is does work live. Depending on your computer, it might take a bit to launch it first. So as you can see, we did launch into the mod successfully, but we're going to get into character creation. Once again, as you can see, this is Realm of Thrones running. This will take some time to load as well. And it's loading shaders and assets, poss possibly like the old realms. As you can see, once again, we do have a custom factions. Perfect. Quickly, just get into the game. So we can once again prove that it works. If you do have any problems, please leave a comment down below, join my Discord, or join the official Realm of Thrones Discord. Once again, as you can see, we are into the game, loaded up accurately. If you have any problems, stay tuned and enjoy.